talk about uh, how to split transactions, expense transactions, not income today, just expense transaction in QuickBooks Online and how to look at a uh, report like a profit and loss by customer. So the two things we're going to cover and they're going to be pretty quick and very useful. So let's suppose you have a client um, or let's suppose you have a vendor that you purchase for several clients and you want to divide that between your customers so that you know what's the total income and expense for each of your customers. Those reports are very, very, very important, especially let's suppose if you have an Airbnb, you want to find out each property's income. Yes, this is so important. So very, 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 very important. So without much further ado, we are going to QuickBooks Online. All right. Here it is. Okay, here is our QuickBooks Online. And we are going into transaction here. And like I said, today we're going to talk about expense, not income. Okay. And I want to undo a couple of transactions here. Okay, this is how you undo, by the way. Because I want to categorize this. All right. Okay, there, there it is. So those transactions has no uh no bills uh there is no check nothing to be matched to so i'm just gonna categorize from here and there's multiple categorization so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on the transaction it's gonna open up click on the twelve hundred dollars it's gonna open up that box so you can select now i can't split from here i can only put one categorization but if i need more than one look at the split button on the bottom right hand side click on it and there you go there is our split screen now you can um, categorize this transaction more than twice if you add lines here you can have tons <laughs> as many as you want to okay so let's suppose the first one is equipment rental and that's gonna be there's no customer associated with this one six hundred dollars and part of the expense is equipment um, repair there you go six hundred dollars here all right so zero difference there it is apply and accept all right yay okay we're gonna go the next one I'm gonna show something different let's suppose same thing split here let's suppose that this is a split between customers I am renting some equipment but some for two of the customers and I want to record that expense on each of those customers. How do you do that? Okay, here, here we go. First one, of course, most of them are rental expense. Okay, you can do it as cost of goods sold as well, but we're just gonna do equipment rental expense. It, what's the difference between cost of goods sold and, um, and just simple expense? Cost of goods sold is anything that is related to providing your service, direct expense to providing your service or, um, or, your, or selling your product. So then not just the product that you're selling to the customer, but shipping is also cost of goods sold because it's a direct cost of providing that product to your customer. Uh, for service, uh, you know, j uh, job co or uh, cost of labor, could be a direct cost to you for a specific client, especially if you, um, I, you know, I, we have a business of um, a wedding business where, where you, uh, where you provide videography, just multiple services, and you subcontract people. That cost of labor is actually a direct cost to you, so you can do cost of labor as a cost of goods sold so it's not necessarily just uh or cost of labor cost of goods sold yeah <laughs> so it's a direct cost to you to provide that service that you're providing so you want to keep track of that so so you can manage uh your gross profit all right so without much further ado amy's bird sanctuary um is the customer related to this expense but i'm gonna split i'm gonna do 400 for her and i'm also do equipment rental for and and i'll do uh 400 for bill windsurf shop and there you go so i selected the customer so that's going to be an expense for these customers and i'm going to apply and accept 
Wow, that's simple. That is so simple, right? But it's so useful, so useful. The next thing I said I was going to talk to you is how to customize my profit and loss by customer. Okay, so profit and loss by customer, very useful, especially if you have like Airbnb or if you if you have like large customers you want to find out if you're making money construction um, you know any contracts large large contracts you want to find out if you're making money or losing money on that customer uh, yes you can do a profit and loss by cus customer uh, one 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 thing that you can do as well so for you for you who work with projects and you don't want to use projects you can use customers and, and then, then just put all the expense under each of the customers so you can manage it there. Yeah, that's one way for you to take a look and if, you, if your bottom line with that customer is positive or negative, right? Now, very important, in order for you to, ha to have that, you want to put the customer on every single transaction. If not, it doesn't work. So, in order to work, you gotta put the information. QuickBooks is not gonna guess it. <laughs> uh, maybe it will, but you shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't trust because they don't know. QuickBooks Online sometimes put some um, use some AI to categorize transactions. I would not recommend just to trust that. I would look at each transaction always. Okay. Anyhow, without much further ado, let's go ahead and click on reports, reports, and I'm gonna look for profit and loss by customer. Now it's going to show me all the customers. See that? All the customers. All the, the income and expense for each of the customers. You can verify there is one customer here that is negative. It's Bill Windsurf. That means I'm spending more money with him than what I'm getting. So that's a customer I should keep an eye on, right? And then you can go and verify what's your total income here. Now, I want just one customer. Maybe you want to provide a report for a, um, a, a cl customer of all the income and expense related, I don't know, to... Now, keep in mind, this book is your book. It's not your client's book, but maybe you can provide that information to in, internally or whatever, right? So you can customize and see where it says filter. Click on filter. Click on customer. Right now it says all. I'm going to click on the arrow. And I just want to know about Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Run report. And yes, that is just information for Amy's uh, Bird Sanctuary. And I would have that like, you know, if I, if, like I said, if I have an Airbnb or a contract company or anything like that, I want to know everything about that customer, all the income and expense. There it is, profit and loss by customer, and you filter it by customer and select the customer you want. Oh, there you go. We have the total income for the customer, okay? Uh, total income 630, and then we have that equipment rental that we recorded. Uh, maybe there's more expenses here. And the net income for that customer is $230. Uh, hopefully it's a lot more for you, but just, just that for this customer. Okay, ha <laughs> ha, it's done, we're done. All right, that was simple. Let's go back, go back, go back here. All right, hopefully this was useful. Mm -hmm.